This is Q Doma, and welcome back to the Rubius Arcos channel. And I'm talking about a subject matter that is actually non video game related this time. And this has to do with DC Comics. Popular unopinion that I think DC should do to bring in new readers. It may piss off a lot of fans. Not me myself, but just a thought. I think DC Comics, or the company, or whoever is running stuff, they just need to kill off all their main characters. That's right. Batman, Flash, Swamp Thing, all, all, the, all the main characters, and I dare say even Superman. And as much as I love Superman, I feel like pretty much every avenue has almost been visited with him. I can I could say the same thing for Batman too. I'm not saying there's not other possibilities there. I just feel we just need something new all around. I know, you know, there's nothing new under the sun, but that's just my feelings on that. I am currently enjoying some of the DC stuff that's out there. I have stopped reading Batman. I have stopped reading Superman stuff, you know. I still like Batman and I still love Superman. But, you know, I just feel like comic book wise, I'm just kind of like, I'm done with it, you know. Uh, you know, there is such thing as this oversaturation and not trying to, you know, ruin it for other fans or what have you. That's just how I feel about it. Now, there is some interesting news that I did come across, fascinatingly enough, about uh, DC. I did find out that in April, DC will be killing off the Justice League. According to, let me see, IGN, oh, it says 30 years after DC Comics made headlines by killing Superman, they posed to do it again. And this time they're taking out the entire Justice League for good measure. As revealed by Entertainment Weekly, the current Justice League series will end in April's Justice League 75, which is written by Joshua Williams and drawn by Rafa Sandova. I, I suck with names. There won't be any immediate replacement on the way, however, because most of the team will be killed in the story battling a team called the Dark Army. The final is intended to serve as a foundation ongoing storyline that sees the DCU come to terms with the loss of so many beloved heroes. The new storyline is intentionally designed to echo the infamous death of Superman crossover. A Man of Steel and his life in Battle of Doomsday in Superman 75. Though through Superman did eventually return to life, it was only after the prolonged absence and the rise of temporary replacement to follow the crossover ring of Superman. Okay, that's that. Um, I guess my question I'm going to say before I go on with this how does this go on? Just repeat it in its entirely. Just to try to get, you know, get people back into it. Because, yeah, I feel like, you know, if they're going to do this, they need to kill them off. Not for just a couple of months. They need to kill them off for like a couple of years. And then come back to it. That's my feelings on it. Um, let's see, whatever. Uh, going on, it says, I remember the experience reading the build-up to Death of Superman and then waiting to, 
and waiting in to rain my copy of 75. Yes, I have all that death of Superman business. Uh, there's still not going to be a Justice League comment. It's going to be a while. Da, 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 da. DC looks like after the story, there's no Justice League. Justice League 75. Da, da, da. Even since uh, Infinite Frontiers, we've been building up to this story. Justice League gets called into the fight. The Dark Army. Uh, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Aquaman, Hawkeye, Zatanna. Only one member will survive the Battle of the Dark Army. Okay, only one. Let's see. Um, Which hero will survive the events of Justice League? Ugh. Hmm. Okay, what character that really that... Hmm. I'm going to say Black Adam. Okay. Uh, seems like a lot of people are going with Batman. They really need to kill off Batman. You know, ugh, I'm getting tired of Batman in the plot armor. And you, really, you know, you definitely get rid of Batman. Yeah, you know, uh, Superman, yes, they need a, you know, Wonder Woman, you know, a Black Canary, that would be different if she survived, or if, uh, if Hawk Girl or Black Adam or Susanna, but, you know, you know, they need to, they definitely need to, uh, get off the Batman. There's just too much Batman stuff. I mean, when you look at, the, the list of comments is like Batman everything. All right, good lord. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like th that we even that the fact that we even got a black Batman, and that was cool. And I like the fact that you know we got a a a Wonder Woman that's of color. That's cool. But I just feel personally, just with the main roster, just needs to be wiped clean. You know, uh, DC Comics has relied on Batman and Superman for their bread and butter for long enough. We just need this all new shit all together, you know, and this this go from there. And yes, Misty, I see you, kitties. Yeah, that's my feelings on that. Um,. Uh, if y'all have any opinions or anything like that, please put your comments at the bottom and hit the subscribe button. And I will see y'all in the future. I will talk to you later.